Yeah. Nico, we've talked so much about, you know, being comfortable with uncomfortable today going down or tonight going down like that in the first period. I mean, what did you like about the way everyone approached that? It just seemed no panic, just kept going at it. Yeah, uh, not a great start, but we knew a lot of hockey left and uh, right back in the first period was two huge goals and... Uh, and we just kept playing our game. Second period, yeah, it's been it's been our period this year. So we set the tone in the second again, and uh, third, I think, uh, got to be a little bit more disciplined. Took uh, way too many penalties, I think. Uh, we were holding against their power play pretty good all night long, and uh, but they still got one. But uh, they had a lot of chances, so we got to clean that up and. Uh, it's always better to play five for five, obviously. What does it mean to this group? Twenty-three games into the year, nineteen victories. Feels good. Feels good. Uh, but like we said, uh, we're not there where we want to want to be yet. Uh, we've got still tons of hockey left. Uh, really happy with our start, but not even halfway through. So uh, can't buy anything with that. So we just gotta keep keep improving, keep uh, keep getting better, and that's our goal. How does it feel to come into this building and have some success? I mean, it's been tough in the past, but to come in here today, especially after down to nothing. Yeah, it's always uh, it's fun playing here. I mean, uh, you see some Devils fans here. Uh, they show up, and uh, it's yeah, it just feels great to beat the Rangers. How does it? Ex how do you explain your start and your finish? Uh, probably not sharp enough, and uh, I think they got got the bounces there, and uh, yeah, just little mistakes that cost us right at the begin, and uh, that's uh, just yeah, wasn't sharp enough. And uh, but we we switched pretty quick, and uh, like I said, those were two huge goals, uh, so we could tie up in the first period been on this team for a long time to come into this building and you know hear your fans here that has to be a new experience and just something that really speaks to what you guys are building right now um, yeah it's certainly new um, but you know it's great to have the fans on our side again um, you know we haven't had that in a while but from uh, from the players perspective it's it's great and um, we can't thank them enough um, you know it was a great win tonight they're a tough team especially here and um, yeah, it was a good job by our team. How much does channeling that notion of being comfortable, being uncomfortable, play into those first couple of minutes where you're down two nothing and then have mm. to sort of claw your way back? Yeah, I think that's you know unfortunately the downfall of our team. You know we haven't had great starts, mm -hmm. um, but you know the way that we bounced back there, um, being down two so early in the game, I thought was um, great by our team, and um, you know hopefully we can learn from it and start to you know, play our game at the drop of the puck. So what changed? And was it the Tars goal that kind of gave you life? Um, yeah, for sure. <laughs> like, don't get me wrong, that goal for sure sparked us. But, um, you know, I think, you know, we were calm and cool on, on the bench. You know, it wasn't an ideal start, but we knew that we had um, a lot of game left. So, um, you know, the guys uh, played well and came back and, uh, it was a great win by us. Can you talk about um, your PK one for five they were on the power play and also your goaltending tonight? Yeah, that's their strength. Um, you know, their PP is great. Um, but, you know, our, our PK stepped up huge. You know, I, I, I can't say enough great things about V. He's playing outstanding right now, and um, a lot of our wins are, are stemming from him. This is a very confident hockey team right now, isn't it? Um, we like our play right now. Um, but we can't get cocky about it because, you know, things can slip and, you know, we have to hold each other accountable here. And, um, you know, it's on to Nashville. And finally, you know what it's like coming into this building in the past. You haven't had a lot of success. I mean, mm -hmm. is this kind of like a statement for you guys to come in here and, and win in, in this building? Yeah, you know, the history of, you know, these two teams go way back. And, um, you know, it's nice to get that spark back um, in the rivalry so um, tonight was a, a great job by our guys the fans are great and it was, uh, it was a fun game to play in. What is sort of that maybe worry is not the right word but when we do end up talking so much about that first period it's not going to be every single night that you'll be able to recover although so far it has felt that way but mm -hmm. as you said it's early in the season there's a long way to go so how do you sort of change that? Like where does that come um, from? It's a mindset that we just got to overcome. Um, you know, we're a quarter of the way done here. And, um, you know, I don't want to say it's un unacceptable, but yeah. we, we, we have to get our spark, good, like, at the drop of the puck. Yeah. And um, we haven't had that. And, um, but, you know, certainly we've talked about it in the past. And um, hopefully next game we can make strides in um, that department.
intensity. There were some tense moments there. Let's go back, though, to the start where you fall behind 2 nothing. What was the discussion? How did the Devils turn things around? Well, you know, we weren't happy with the start, obviously, but we felt we had a couple chances. And, you know, after we had the, uh, the one chance where Shesterkin made a great save, uh, you know, Tatar got us going with a backhand goal. So uh, we felt we'd get enough chances to get back in the game if we, uh, we just got the first one. Well, Coach, just what does this say about the team? Last couple games, you play Washington. That could have been a game you guys would lose just based on the way you guys played them recently. And then tonight you come in here, haven't played the Rangers very well either. You're down two. But just the maturity of the young team here, like as a coach, you must be pretty proud of them. Yeah, you know, I'm really proud of the fact that you can get down a couple and come back. And we knew they were desperate. Uh, you know, their last game didn't go the way they wanted. And uh, we really felt we were going to see their best. And then, I think we did. Uh, we had opportunities to, to put them away on the power play. I thought their killing was, was really good. Uh, and then their power play gave them a shot at the end to get them back in the game. Uh, we'll open it up. The rest of the assembled media has been gracious enough to allow us to start the post-game news conference, so we'll open up other questions. Lindy, how important is the um, maturity when you're dealing with a situation like that at the beginning of the game? Talking to Miles, he said, you know, no one had panic, everyone was calm, and it was just next shift over. No, uh, I mean, again, I don't say we didn't like the start. Obviously, uh, I thought the second goal was, uh, you know, a little bit of misfortune where, you know, bounced off, uh, uh, bounced off V and uh, just felt if we stayed with our game, uh, contemplated maybe calling a timeout, but uh, it, it was, there was just a, a calmness on the bench that, you know, we said, let's just stay with our game and uh, we'll generate chances, and if we can get a few by them, we'll we'll be back in the game. Is sometimes not calling a timeout like an important decision to make, just to allow guys to figure it out themselves? In a sense. Well, I think sometimes you call a timeout, you're sending a message that, oh, holy crap, we're in trouble. Yeah. <laughs> um, and I, and I didn't think we were in really in that much trouble. Uh, I, I thought we were moving the puck well. I, you know, I'll go back to the morning skate. I thought our morning skate really looked sharp and. Uh, just felt like just uh, all I said on the bench was Let, let's go get the next goal and if we get the next goal we're back in the game. Lindsay, could you put in perspective what it means to come into this building? You had past couple games in the past, you had lost games here to get a win here tonight. Well, it, it's a hard building to win in. It uh, you know, a lot of energy in this building and it's a tough team to play against and uh, you know to get the win here. We know that you know more division games are coming up, uh, more against uh, teams in our conference and. Uh, it's just going to continue to get tougher. Uh, Siegenthaler didn't play the last couple minutes there. Was he, was he hurt or something? Or? Uh, I don't believe so, no. Okay. How about uh, your PK for the most part and Vanacek for next year? Yeah, I, you know, overall I thought we did we did a good job. Um, you know, they had a couple looks. I thought V gave us the key saves a couple times. I thought a couple kills we, we executed the way we wanted to. I uh, thought we got just a you know, uh, just a little bit, a little bit soft on it, where we didn't put enough pressure a couple times. Uh, we got we got more aggressive later on on a couple of the kills. But uh, again, he made saves. Uh, you know, you gotta you gotta be a little bit lucky. I felt a couple times it hit sticks. It went wide. One went over. I thought Kreider had a tip once. It looked like the puck was going in, and if he didn't tip it, it might have went in. Uh, he tipped it and went over the net. So. Uh, sometimes you got to be a little bit fortunate too.